this what's happening to me. Can yes. you come and join yeah. me? Ah, Chimere, come and you, you, you can do the other people you can turn to and be like, ah. yes. and if you turn to them, be like, I have a family, I can always exactly. count on them, and they are the yes. ones that can make you laugh. <laughs> if they are, you can imagine in that situation whereby they are very strict, like, don't talk to yeah. me. Once it's time for this, don't come to me. I don't side. have. Oh. I feel like people really underestimate, like, this emotional, yeah. like, bond oh. with family and like happy family leads yeah. to healthier happier mm -hmm. life because as a child you don't know how much like things happening in the family may affect like may affect um like what's occurring you don't know how much things like can affect them you can be in school and be thinking about your family mm -hmm. if they are yes. happy if what is going on is smooth yeah. but you can be in school and be happy knowing that oh my family yeah. is great i can yeah. call my mom well, i'm time. going through this i'm not scared i'm not mm -hmm. like hey they will kill me oh mm -hmm. i know that if i fall back on them they will advise me right mm -hmm. and also i've seen a lot of teenagers growing up and their family are not peaceful i mean mm. the dad and mom are always having so it also affects the teenagers i mean the teenager will be, the teenager will be overthinking ah, i don't know is my dad beating my mom is my mom nagging at my dad yeah. so i also feel if this family are peaceful like yeah. they have they have this happiness yes it will make the teenager to be happy yeah. and be able to concentrate yes. i mean if your family is not peaceful there's no way you have this peace of mind mm -hmm. you're yes. always thinking ah these people should not start shouting mm -hmm. ah, i need to leave this house be mm -hmm. before they start quarreling exactly. so i also feel there should be this personal development that comes with having good family relationship i mean you are having a good family relationship and you are not developing personally yeah exactly i mean there are a lot of parents that assist their teenagers yeah. to start up something this um skills is very important that's, important. that's also part of personal development yes. so christabel okay i think a family as it is they should be able to like give their child their own like they should be able to like develop them personally yes. so that when they leave they know who they are they know where they are coming from they won't be distracted mm -hmm. your parents can help you build up your skills because nobody knows you better than your parents mm -hmm. actually so they can help you build you oh this when you were growing up you love to do this yeah. i'm not saying force it on them more i'm just telling them like saying that okay your parents could advise you in the right direction yes. and when you're outside you know that okay like because my friends are doing this doesn't you mean just i should where do you it come from. because that's yes, where i come yeah. from like and you have this good family relationship you know where you're coming from you know that your parents have built you up with love mm -hmm. so there will not be any need to like seek validation from friends or yeah. fall into the wrong hands mm -hmm. i also feel parents should not impose their decisions on their oh, kids yeah, i mean if your if your teenager has already decided okay this is what i want to study in school there's no yeah. need for you to like you no you no. study what i want i want <laughs> to study i mean i've you seen yes i've seen a lot of teenagers that are having difficulty yeah, in their courses yeah. because mm -hmm. This is not what they decided to like. That's not what there are a lot of know. teenagers that ah, I want to become an, a music artist, I want to be acting film. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you impose your own decision on your kids, there's no way that kid will devel develop like personally. Yeah. So I also feel parents should be careful on how they impose their decision on their kids. Yeah. So we'll be moving on to friendship relationship. I mean, this is where our Gen Z are. <laughs> Always <laughs> having it difficult because they are always toxic friends out hmm, there. Yeah. So if they have Actually. good relationship amongst themselves, there's no way they will not develop because also personal development is also part of part of it. I mean, yeah. they're having good relationship with your friends. There are times they will advise you, okay, this is what yeah. you need to do. This is what you need to do. So what's the okay? Thing so I really think having a good friendship, like a good friend group, friend bond, even if it's just with one person, mm -hmm. I think it's very important yeah. to have that one person that you know that okay, I can actually talk to, I can actually pour my heart to. Um, as you said, there are a lot of toxic friends. Like, have yes. you ever chopped friendship <laughs> breakfast? Before? I think it's more painful. It's more painful, painful because, than because like you push your time, you love this yeah. person, like yes. you trust this person. This person is not like some boy or some girl yeah. that just walked into your life and then yes. you're trying to build this person has obviously the friendship bond like the friendship heartbreak or break up that will make your heart really ache is the one that has been there for years yes so yes i think a good friendship is important. friendship relationship is really, really important
important to if you are growing because you have someone to always count on like yes. that guy or girl that can be like oh god this, this is what's happening or ah Sylvia this is what is happening please can you help me with this and they always have something to tell you at every point so friendship relationship is really really important yeah, yeah. I also feel they also help with experiences I mean if you have friends that are experienced in some aspect yeah. and then you're having this good relationship with them they also like Absolutely. give you tips on yeah. okay this is what you're supposed to do this is what you're not supposed to do so okay. I also I think that's all that's very very true because um when I was in my hundred level, all yeah. my roommates were three hundred and four hundred and they had ideas, they knew like what to tell yeah. you and what to give out to you. Like that's the type of friendship you should be looking for. People that uplift you, people mm -hmm. that know what to say at the right time. Yes. I also feel they help us speak our mind. I mean, there are a lot of things that we cannot tell our parents. Yeah. So they, they also help you like open up. You can uh, you actually can open up to them. Yes. Yeah, it's true because it's not everything you want to be telling. Okay, let's say you're in a relationship with a guy, <laughs> and there's this particular roommate you have used to give all these sweet sweet gist to. It's only yes. hard that you can be like, ah, this is what is happening. How can I do this? Did this guy like? I don't know what. To, I, I cannot tell my mom, and you're the only person yes. I can talk to. Yeah. So there's always that particular person where you can be like. That you want something from them, like you need advice. You know when they are very, very experienced. There are little people that can you know, tell you things and stuff. Yeah. That this is what is happening. Okay, this is the way to go about this. Go through like this. Go through like this. I think it's very yeah. important. And to that person should have sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's you that's can't that's be, a good relationship. Yeah, you you cannot be yeah. friends yeah. with someone that is having bad impressions yeah. against exactly. you. Because I've seen a lot of people that are falling. They, they, they've killed them. Like friends, friends have killed them. Maybe poison. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So I also feel if you have this good relationship, speaking your mind will not be a problem okay. because I, there are some things that I cannot sit and like talk to my mom about it. But then yeah. if you have a friend that you can actually pour out your problem mm -hmm. to, because uh, in the case of breakfast, ah, they serve me breakfast. I can't I mean, they serve me breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> what is breakfast? What is breakfast? <laughs> it's not breakfast that you eat every morning. No, so I also feel 